Hi, so Silly Moustache here. Are small guitars boxy? I saw this remark in a comment on one of my earlier videos, probably about my two Eastman guitars. This is a, an E20P, which is the equivalent of a Martin size O, uh, O28 type trim, uh, rosewood back and sides, and uh, Adirondack top in this case. And um, I bought this in 2019, new, and it has mellowed quite a lot, but um, I'm going to play it to you because I don't hear any boxiness. So I'm going to play it finger style, first of all. Now, I'm rather surprised when I see reviews of these, professional reviews uh, of small guitars like this on YouTube, and um, the reviewers will almost always use a pick, which I don't think this is a plectrum guitar as such, but I'd do it anyway. <laughs> So, um, is that boxy? I'm not sure. Um, but there are, uh, was a sudden fashion, um, probably inspired by the COVID era, uh, people playing at home and looking for smaller guitars, and that was great. Um, and, um, <coughs> and of course they were available in all sorts of budgets, and there were some very budget guitars made, as there were in the 30s and 40s, you know, um, the... Uh, uh, the Great Depression era and things like that and and a lot of guitars made cheaply mail order to in mail order in the States anyway so um, why would they have sounded box eight well I'm going to do a little exercise I'm going to make this into a cheap guitar I'm going to use this a, a technical instrument it's called a piece of cardboard whoops and I'm going to put that there cover the soundboard and I'm going to use a cheap thin pick this is a Tortex 60.6 of a millimeter right really flappy stuff right <laughs> I don't know how people play with Vic so light, but so I'm not doing very well. But you get the idea. So finger style. So that bass is attenuated. And why is that? What have I done with this? What I've done is I've kind of stopped the top resonating. The strings cause a vibration which is magnified by the top which then resonates and, um, and, and creates sound waves inside the box which are sent backwards to the back which then colours it and sends it out through the all right, which is fine. Now what about if that doesn't resonate? Say it's a laminate or plywood or it's been very badly made as a resonating top. Um, if you're a large volume production guitar company you will decide an optimum thickness for wood so you'll you'll get loads of these carved out and they'll all be thickness to the same thickness but if a single luthier does uh, makes a guitar he will look at that wood and think well that ought to be a little bit thinner than that one that one ought to be a bit harder than that one because of the resonance and the and the movement and the wobbliness and stiffness of it and things like that so if you're making a thousand guitars, you don't do that. You think that all the same and um, 
you know, out of a thousand guitars, you might get a proportion of them that are really good and absolutely spot on, and a proportion of them that are really not very good at all, and then a large mediocre area. And that's what you have to do if you're making large quantities. This is made by Eastman in China, and they make fairly large quantities and batches, I would imagine, but even with guitar, uh, with guitar strings that are about three months old now, light gauge, don't go anything lighter than light gauge, then it's still okay. So I'm going to go to extremes now. I'm going to put that one down, and I'm going to pick up my Collings Rosewood and Sitka Tot guitar, and I'm going to do the same exercise. I'm going to play this, of course, first of all. Yes, you've got more bass. is my favorite brand of guitar although I'm really quite chuffed with my two Eastmans and I have a Santa Cruz I used to have Martins a lot I had a D35 for 21 years and uh, was very happy with it so I'm going to use um, same pick again and um, now and 40s there were lots of budget guitars made um, not least by Gibson I mean, probably made some of the better ones and they called them Kalamazoo's and things like that and Collings decided a little while ago to introduce another range called Waterloo which is made to sound like a cheap guitar and so I paid over two thousand pounds for this to sound like a cheap guitar because if you you know if you if you're Blues man, you know, you've got to sound poor. Now, this has something different about it. It's still got a perfectly good Sitka top but it's got a maple back and sides. And many guitars in the 20s, 30s, 40s by Kalamazoo and other cheaper makes uh, were made of birch. In fact, some Gibson guitars were made with birch because it's difficult to tell the difference visually between birch and maple. Um, but the difference is that maple doesn't color the sound of the, um, the soundboard resonating and the air coming out. Rosewood warms it, mahogany defines it in a slightly different way. We could argue all day long about that. But maple was always used, for instance, for um, arch tops because they didn't want that coloration. They wanted that, um, uh, that, that comping sound. <laughs> Right, so fast response, rhythm instruments. This is when rhythm instruments really sort of came in. And even so, this has got, it's got a bass. It's not as profound as the dread, not for obvious reasons. It's still balanced. Let's make it cheap. Let's 
is my high tech adjustment and I'm going to play it again with a cheap pick which also makes a considerable difference I think that if you pay one, two, three, four hundred dollars for a guitar, it might sound a bit like that because the top is thick or it's laminated and it's not, um, it's not vibrating like a good top should. And maybe you're playing with a very thin pick, which even without that... And of course you can't really control a very, very thin pick, so you're probably going to go... like to get one of those really cheap boxes um, that have been uh, been sold on the market in the recent couple of years to compare but I haven't got one so there we are so are small guitars boxy are they really really e20p If you have been, thanks for watching. If you're interested in one-to-one -one lessons with me, mentoring, I tend to prefer it rather than um, uh, than teaching, but I do both uh, in guitar and also I've helped a lot of people as far as singing, then um, send me a line, send me an email. Uh, the details are in the uh, description below. If you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.